So in your set theory courses, you learn about union, intersect, and set difference. SQL has uh, operations to do that. We also used um, we used not in and in, which is very similar to what I'm about to show you now. In fact, the except, uh, intersect, and union operators are came later in the SQL language. They're newer. All right. So so going back to a little bit of set theory, and hopefully this is review for you. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, I want to make a circle. So let's make a circle. I'm going to make a simple Venn diagram. So let's do another circle right here. If this tool will behave. Okay, and let's make this one red. All right. So, uh, so I think we we put these circles in front of you in uh, set theory, and, and it seems a little abstract, but it's actually rather simple. Say I have two big circles on the ground, and I I have a lot of people that like ice, and I have a lot of people that like cream, and then I have some people that like ice and cream. And I know if you mix ice and cream together, you make a good good a dessert. But anyway, so here I'm going to put the per people that like. Uh oh, I don't want to use red. Let's use black. Let's put the ice lovers over here, okay, and then the cream lovers we'll put in this circle, okay. So and forgive my terrible handwriting with this new Wacom tablet I'm using. All right, so we have the people that like ice and the people that like cream. Well, so if Bill shows up and Bill says I like ice, but he doesn't necessarily like ice mixed with cream, then we'd say Bill stand in this circle. And there's Bill. And then Mary comes and says, oh, I love cream, but I like it warm. So then we'd say, okay, Mary. Mary, you can't, I guess, to be consistent here. You say, Mary, you stand in the cream circle. All right, but then Jamie, me, I show up and I love ice cream. Okay, well, the place where Jamie should stand is where these two circles overlap. In fact, let's have some fun here with the colors just because I can. So, Jay, let's be a little more efficient. Jamie here. Okay, so Jamie stands in the middle, and that's ice cream. So, so anyway, the the this area here represents the overlap, or it's the intersection of these two sets. The side on the left here, um, say I, I just want the people that like ice. I only want the people that like ice. Well, what I would do is say, give me all the ice people, the ice likers, which would be Bill and Jamie. But take out, that's the set difference operation or subtraction symbol as we use. Take out the people that like cream. So Jamie is also standing in the cream. So it's like I, I just slice this. Let me get a, let me get a different color here. I just slice this uh, this portion out and pushed it this way. Okay. Um, so that's set difference. A uh, union would be this symbol here. Fortunately, it looks like a U. Union, very good. Uh, union would be give me everybody. So the people that like ice. And the people that like cream, so that's Bill, Jamie, and Mary. That's everybody. And then again, the intersection, which is this symbol, is this upside down U. Or I, I like to think of it. It looks like an N in the word intersection. If I can keep going out here, but intersection uh, is this portion right here in the middle. Okay, so enough of that set theory review. Uh, here we have I've listed all the contact names and country of all the customers here. And let's say uh, let's let's see let's get the Germans. So where uh, country equals Germany. Is it Germany? Yep, Germany. So that gives me all the Germans. Very good. And then let's uh, let's get all the people in Mexico. So I'm going to paste this here, bring that up, and get the the Mexicans as well. So Mexico. I love Mexico. I just went to Cancun. It was excellent. All right. So I have the Germans and I have the Mexicans. Now if you look here, both of these both of these um, queries have two columns. The column names are the same. All right, now when I do union here, remember union gives me everything in both sets. So this you can think of, this top query, or this upper query, as um, as the people on the left side. And then the, the bottom query gives you the people on the right side. So when I drop union here, watch what happens to this line down here. All it does is combine the two into one result. Okay, so I have people from Mexico, people from Germany. You know, order is arbitrary. I can uh, do ordering, but if I do ordering, it has to be the very last um, statement in your query. So order by, let's order by country. Sure, and so now we have the Germans on top, Mexicans are next, uh, and so on and so forth. Another trick sometimes we'll do here is instead of saying country, let's say, um, let's see, these are the Germans. So let's do Germans, if I can spell it right. Uh, contact name, and then these are the Mexicans, so let's go 
uh, Mexicans. And again, with with the strings here, I'm doing with these these here. I'm just injecting a constant. This makes another column and injects a constant in both queries. And I, in fact, let me just show you without the union. See, I have Germans here. I have Mexicans, and so on and so forth. Throw the union out here, and uh, uh oh, order by must appear. Oh, okay, we gotta get rid of the order by. Oh, forgive me, because there's no longer a country column. So I'll get rid of the order by. So we have the Germans, and we have the Mexicans here. Notice though, we don't have a column name. Whenever you use a union, and I can also say intersect here or accept. I'll show you those later. But whenever we do this, the topmost query determines the column name. So I'm going to just put as nationality here. Again, the as is optional. I could leave the as out. But I have Germans and Mexicans. And I could also, uh, let's just order by, now that I have that, that column named, I could order by nationality. Let's do that descending. And now we have the Mexicans first and the Germans next. So so anyway, uh, hopefully that's, that's pretty straightforward. Union, basically taking two queries and combining the results into one. The number of columns and the types of the columns must match, or be compatible at least. So so if I threw another column out here, I don't know, city, then I get an error saying, hey, all queries combined with union, intersect, or accept must have an equal number of expressions in their own target list. Anyway, so that doesn't. Now, here I've, I've, I've changed the queries up a little bit. Remember from previous videos, I have this first table and second table. Uh, both the tables are roughly identical. The column names are the same, called the data. The data, but first table here has a, a and a B, and um, second table has a B and a C. So if I do a union here, you should pause the video and think, what's the result going to be? So pause, think. Okay, now that you're back, uh, you might think that it's going to be A, B, B, C. But in set theory, B is the same element. It just happens to be in in these two two tables here. Bringing this back up, Jamie, even though I like ice and I like cream, there's only still one of me. There's not two Jamies. Alright, so coming back here when I union, notice we get A, B, and C. If I don't want to remove the duplicate values, I could say union all. Very simple. Okay, now going back to our original set here, I'm going to say except. Actually, before we do that, let's do intersect. Intersect's a little easier. So the intersection of these two sets, well, here's A and here's C. B is the only thing that's in common. That's the only place. It's the only place where these two overlap right here in the middle. So, so when I take the intersection, all I get is B. Now let's look at accept. Now I could say intersect all again. Uh, now let's let's do uh, accept, which is like set difference. It is set difference. That's ex that's exactly what's going on. So our first set is this top query. It gives us A and a B, and then I'm going to take out everything on this other end or the right hand side which would be B and a C. So A, B minus B and C, well there's no C over here but that doesn't matter. I'm just going to take out the stuff that's on the bottom I'm going to take out of the top which would be a B. So when I do accept all we're left with is an A. So that's union, intersect, and accept. Uh, they work a lot a, little, a lot like subqueries I showed you in previous videos where we do in and not in. The syntax not good but but anyway in and not in, roughly the same thing, except uh, these operations look directly at the columns that ha that are the results of the top and the bottom query.